All right, and I'm about to install the last screw. I suggest you to install first on the corners and then over here. And uh, yeah, so you just learn how to install 8 gigabyte memory in your MacBook 2010 white and uh, high performance uh, Western Digital 500 gigabyte Black Series Scorpio hard drive. And even if Apple doesn't uh, offer a 8 gigabyte upgrade for a white MacBook uh, 2010, it's possible and it's supporting and it works as a champ. This is my second machine and I tested the first machine, perfectly works. Uh, motherboard recognized the 8 gigabyte as 8 gigabyte and um, no problem with the hard drive as well and that hard drive is better than the Apple installs and memory as well. Memory has lifetime warranty and the uh, Western Digital Black Series 500 gigabyte Scorpio hard drive has 5 years warranty and it's 16 megabyte of cache and it's 7200 RPM which is very quick and eating same energy as uh, Apple 250 gigabytes 5400 RPM stated even a little bit less stated by Western Digital Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Alexander Moroz and let me show you what you gotta do after you install and after you put in your um, MacBook. I just place the screws and uh, turn it around and what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Mac OS X installed DVD. I'm gonna put in my Mac and um, I'm going to put the DVD um, and hold the C button till I'm gonna get to the the screen of the menu as you can see my MacBook is like in a nice beautiful um, it has nice beautiful on the keyboard it's it's white but I have the protection you can purchase this as well I'm gonna put in my video description every single part so you can buy it as the way uh, I'm using right now and um, after that, I'm going to place the black cover, like this cover, over here on the bottom, so it's going to keep white. Same company. I just removed that for the purposes of the tutorial. And I'm going to put the description what kind of cover I'm using as well. Don't miss it out. And as you can see, my black and white Alexander Moroz uh, Sirius uh, MacBook 2010 white. Let me go ahead and grab DVD and I'm going to show you what you got to do next. Because if you're going to put it in the computer right now, you, all what you got to see, you got to see the folder and question mark is uh, blanking. And how to fix it, I'm going to show you in a second. Thank you so much. And keep in mind, this, this video will be split into multiple parts. So don't miss them out. It's probably going to be two parts. Uh, just because the YouTube uh, video size limitation. Thank you so much and don't forget I'm going to come with some more tutorials on how to install the Windows 7 and Windows XP on your MacBook 2010 white. Uh, at the same time to have the Mac OS X as a dual board. Thank you so much. One second please. Let me go ahead and grab the DVD. It is getting dark over here but what you gotta do you just gotta grab a MacBook Mac OS X install DVD and it's going to be a great DVD it's going to say on it that it's MacBook uh, Mac OS X install DVD you gotta grab this and I have the version 10.6.3 which I believe is no Leopard and um, here we go you gotta pretty much uh, go ahead and take it out hold it in your head hand like this and uh, put the Mac and put it in a CD-ROM drive like so and hold the C you gotta hold the C button It's good to do a restart. Just restart your map by pressing the power button. 
after CD CD ROM is in, I mean DVD is uh, in, and boot in again and hold the C button. Because when you're gonna install the new hard drive, what you're gonna end up with, you're gonna end up with a white screen and a folder with question mark will uh, just blinking, and that means that your hard drive is not formatted properly and not ready. So that's what you gotta do. Hold the C till you're gonna see the menu on your keyboard. So it's going to load. And it's kind of cold over here, so I'm apologizing. It's not very safe to work in this environment. This is just for to get as much light as I could and now it's dark and I don't want to switch to a different location I would like to keep you at the same atmosphere so as you can see how loyal I am to my fans and you, you should do it at home and uh, when it's warm and nice so it's going to load gonna take some time and uh, DVD is going to load and you will be hearing the DVD drive from the site so just giving you those uh, squeezing noises takes about like a couple minutes and it's gonna bring you to this screen Mac OS X let me go ahead and adjust it for you so you're gonna see it better okay so as you can see I'm by, by, by the Mac right now I just wanna show you the better just focus better to show you the better what you gotta see on the screen and uh, that's how it's loaded from the CD from the DVD and we're gonna choose the English or your language and gonna click next it's gonna take a little bit of a time and uh, then it's gonna give you to install Mac OS X option but it's not gonna give you any hard drive so what you gotta do, you just gotta go to utilities. It's on top of the screen, like over here, and uh, click on it, and uh, select the disk utility. Click on that, it's gonna bring you to a different menu, like so. And uh, you will need to select the hard drive, go to partition right here, select your hard drive, 500 gigabyte hard drive, click on it, select it, go to partition, and over here, I have some. Uh, already a Mac OS X installed on this drive but it's going to be empty and for you what you gotta do is just gotta select two partitions if you wanna install the Windows 7 at the same time with the Mac OS X or if you're not planning in the future but think globally and then you gotta select a one partition click on it it's gonna just create it and then you gotta click apply button 
if it's just only one, Mac OS X, and it's gonna go ahead and uh, do that partition, and then you can restart. Uh, basically, you're gonna click apply, and then you're gonna close. Um, you're gonna click apply. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Then you're gonna close by clicking on that red close, close the window, and then install the Mac OS X. Or you're gonna select two partitions, which is second option, and uh, you're gonna. It's automatically going to split for you 250 gigabytes per each partition. However, if you click on this partition, you can uh, type in manually on each one how much you would like to give and then click apply button and it will give the same effect okay and then we recommend you to get Mac OS X extended for the Mac OS X alright thank you so much and uh, yeah and after you're gonna apply you're gonna close it like so and it's gonna bring you to the window install Mac OS X you're gonna click continue and you're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions on the screen thank you so much my name is Alexander Moroz and today you just watched a video on how to install 8 gigabyte of RAM in a 2010 white MacBook and 500 gigabyte Western Digital Black Series Scorpio ultra high performance hard drive and this video will be split for multiple parts uh, don't miss them out thank you so much subscribe if you like it and please thumbs up so more people can see it bye bye now peace I wish you good luck with everything you do and any comments are welcome